Hi, I'm Ron Whitcomb, quarterbacks coach at Old Dominion University Football, and we're doing our second video for ODU for PlayAday.com. Today what we're going to be going over is quarterback drill work, a lot of the drill work that we've done this past fall and spring at Old Dominion University. Uh, our philosophy, or my philosophy, in working with the quarterbacks is we always want to start with our feet first when we're talking about physical drill work. We also do a lot of mental drill work at quarter, with the quarterback position at ODU, but we also do a lot of physical drill work as far as footwork uh, within our practices. One of the first drills that we're going to talk about today is drop the line. Uh, this drill you've probably done uh, at camps or you've seen across the country. I've been doing this drill since I've been in high school, and you'll see some of the video of what we do and a couple of variations of what we do with drop the line. Uh, the first thing or the most important thing when we're talking about drop the line specifically is I want our quarterbacks to really open up their hips and gain distance really what this transitions to is their first step. A lot of this really applies to a quarterback who will be coming out from under center. We don't come out from under center but we still feel like it's important to get depth on that first, first step to really set the pocket, set that aiming point for the defensive end to help out our offensive left tackle for a right-handed quarterback. Really what you'll see in the drill is when our quarterbacks start their drop, they really want to push that first step, cross over, and then again push to get distance. I really always want to see them open up their hip. We almost use this as a way to open up our hips and really stretch. It's one of the first things that we do. It'll be the first period of a practice, really opening up our hips, stretching out those hips, and getting our quarterbacks in the mindset that when they get that snap from center and we're doing anything, if I turn around and I'm catching the ball from center, or if I'm catching the ball in the shot from here, I want to really push to get my distance so that I can step up in the pocket. After we do this as a right-handed quarterback, what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll come back as a left-handed quarterback. We do have a left-handed quarterback, but as our two other right-handed quarterbacks or anybody else is doing this drill, you want to come back as a left-handed quarterback. Again, this is not only a quarterback drill, but a way to open up your hips and stretch before practice. You know, after doing this for three, four weeks and then a couple of years, you know, our quarterbacks at Old Dominion are able to do this drill just as well from the right hand as they are the left hand. So I'd like to see them be just as good on each different side. The next drill that I'm going to go over is something that we introduced new to this spring. And a lot of these drills, and you know, I'm not going to lie, what I do is I kind of scour the internet. I see what other people are doing. Uh, you could easily go on YouTube and type in Mark Sanchez quarterback drills, and that's where, exactly where I found this drill uh, in the offseason before this spring. We went out and practiced it uh, a couple times before spring ball, and it came out to be one of our best drills that we used this spring. Uh, the thing that we are going to get out of this drill is not only your quarterback's eye is going to need to be out on field, he's going to have to push his drop, he's going to have to have quick feet, but he's also going to have to move laterally within the pocket and have a tempo to it. This is a drill that can become competitive, and it's something that we really felt like our quarterbacks gained a lot of out of the spring. A couple key points in doing this drill, uh, after we did it numerous times, I feel like we improved this drill as we went along. But as your quarterback is dropping and he's coming down and he's coming down and he might be stepping up, we really like to see that quarterback dip his elbow a little bit for that defensive end who might be trying to come around and knock that ball out of their hands. So as the quarterback's coming, he's stepping around, he's stepping up, we'd like to see him dip that shoulder a little bit. Again, foot speed, you know, the first time your quarterback does it, he might catch the ball, and he might be going here, and it might be really slow, and then the next time he gets it, bam, he, he's really working, he's really got his feet moving. So this is a drill that is going to take some time, it's going to take some practice, it's going to take some practice as you as a coach uh, to get it moving, but I think it's something real nice, and if you ever see Mark Sanchez do it, there's no question why we call this a Sanchez drill. The last drill that we're going to talk about today is called the Big Ben Drill. And the reason why we call this the Big Ben Drill isn't because we stole it from Big Ben like we did the Sanchez Drill, but because we affectionately named after a quarterback that we have a lot of respect for in the, in the NFL. Uh, the reason why we call this the Big Ben Drill is because this drill really focuses on you know, a quarterback having his eyes downfield but not being affected by what's happening to him within the pocket, whether that's a guard or center getting pushed back into him, or a defensive end coming around them, we're going to have a manager kind of jab, distract, hit, and really just put the quarterback into a stressful situation while his eyes are downfield. You'll see our quarterbacks are following me. I'm moving them either right, left, 
up or back within the pocket while a manager is going to try to hit the ball out from the quarterback. He's got to have good front hand pressure, have that ball in that position where he can make a throw. But again, we're going to put a lot of pressure on him. I don't think anybody in the NFL has better composure within the pocket than Ben Roethlisberger as far as keeping his eyes downfield and, and, and making a play with a lot of duress in the pocket. You know, the last thing about this drill that's good is our quarterback at the end is going to you know, drop step, get downhill, and finish the throw outside of the pocket. And, and the good thing also about this drill is in the beginning, he's going to push his drop again, always working on that footwork, foot speed. But again, within the pocket, we're going to hit him with the bag. The manager's going to jab him, kind of make life hell on him. Again, this is Ron Wickham. I'm the quarterback's coach at Old Dominion University Football. This is our second video, and today we focused on quarterback footwork. I'd like to thank Playday.com for having us again. I'd like to thank all of you for watching, and if any of you have any more questions or would like to see more about Old Dominion University, please go to odusports.com or odublitz.com, and you can see all the updates and recent information about ODU football. Thank you.